Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I am here to, um, well, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I think I will actually try to create a bass drum, and just go through the process of creating that um, using Thor. Uh, the first thing I would do is get out of that synth mode and um, turn on your noise oscillator. Put on static. Uh, put on SH mode. Okay, so that's the beginnings of it. Um, now what I will do is create an FM pair. Okay, play around with the amp. Play with the filter. You see how that kind of shapes the sound? Okay, so now we've got the basic sound down. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is probably create a compressor. Turn up your input. Turn down your threshold. Turn down your attack. Up your release a little bit. Okay, now then create a maximizer. Okay, and um, one other thing I would do is I would create from your Thor, um, between your Thor and your compressor, what I would do is create an equalizer. Create parameter one. Put maybe a three decibel gain and put that right around there. Put another uh, frequency gain. This time, though, what I would do is make it a very narrow gain. And then let's just Hone it in. Okay, that's the, the goal. I want to get to that point so you can hear that hollow kind of formant filter sound. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the frequency. Oh, oh, shoot. No, that's not what I want to do. Okay, right about there. Now I want to drop the gain. So it's got a little bit of that 
tin sound to it. And that is how I would start creating a kick. So I hope that helps you out. I uh, hope you learned something from it. Um, you can do a lot with the noise oscillator and the FM pair oscillator when you're creating drums. Um, of course, you're going to need to use this low pass filter. Um, and definitely compression, EQ, and maximizer will just round it out quite nicely. Hope that helps you out, and I uh, hope you learned something there. Um, again, it's Rob at Reason101.net. Come join me when you get a chance. Thanks a lot for watching.